Hi, this is Yvonne Print, and I'd like to talk to you about Church Bulletin Essentials. What does it take to create a church bulletin that is truly effective, that accomplishes all of the things you want it to accomplish? Well, I would encourage you to, number one, to consider that the most important thing that we need to do in our church bulletins is to tell people how to become a Christian. Or we could subtitle this, What Does It Profit a Man If He Gets Directions to the Church Picnic But Loses His Own Soul? There are many important parts to the church bulletin, and in other presentations, in books and articles that are available on my website, I go into them in great detail. You need to have a clear order of worship, and you need to welcome visitors, and you need to do lots of things that I'll be giving you tips on, but this really is the most important thing, how to become a Christian. What I have done to give you some ideas on this is I've put together a little uh, PDF book booklet on Church Bulletin Essentials, a gospel presentation, how to have a relationship with Jesus, become a Christian, be forgiven, have eternal life, however you want to refer to it, just this very basic, basic action that people need to take to connect with God. And um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through the booklet rather quickly. I'm going to show you some of the different ways that churches did that, that I trust will inspire you and encourage you to put in your own section like this. So let's open up this little booklet and see what's there. Here we have our booklet on the Church Bulletin Essential of a Gospel Presentation, How to Have a Relationship with Jesus, Become a Christian, Be Forgiven, Have Eternal Life, however you want to express it. How are some ways that churches can put that into their bulletin? Now let me just say up front that I realize that I'm speaking to people of many different denominations, many different churches, and you might all put it a little bit differently. Some of you might think, well, this is something that uh, we need to really explain in detail or we couldn't possibly have room for it in the bulletin and I think you'll see from the examples that I'm going to show you that first of all you can do it in a very small amount of space and you can really say a lot so let's just let's look at some of these different things and I will point out what I liked about the different things that we'll be looking at also let me just say that um, on the website there's lots more examples lots more bulletins but I picked a few of the ones that I thought were really Really useful for you to look at. So let's just go ahead and look at them. First of all, let's zero in on this one. This is a panel from um, a church bulletin, and it has, how do I become a Christian? You know, just very basic, here is the answer. Admit your need for God, believe that Jesus is Lord, confess, ask Jesus to become your Savior. And then what I really like about this one, and what I want to, to focus on for you, is it not only tells you how to become a Christian, but it up front lets you know that there are expectations of you when you become a Christian. This isn't just a little magic formula that you say and then you leave and, and that's it, but you're expected to participate in worship, in life groups, the ministry teams, and to have an inviting lifestyle. And I really like that, where you tell people up front, once again, once you make a decision, this is what we expect you to do. Now, if you don't think that you have room for um, a, a bulletin insert, here's a church that obviously has a lot of things going on, but in their three panels, as you can see, let me zoom in, you have a small explanation about what it means. Do you want Christ in your life? And I love just the honesty of the first statement here. It says, there's no magic formula. But if you sincerely take these steps, it will be a great start. And they call it the cat's plan. Confess your sin to God. Ask God to forgive your sins. Trust that Jesus died on the cross to pay for your sins and rose from the dead to offer you eternal life. Serve Jesus as leader of your life. That means a life in community with other Christ followers of loving God, loving each other, and loving our neighbors. And once again, short, concise, to the point, and then they encourage someone who's made the decision to contact the staff. I would... Um, really encourage you if you do something like this to put either a contact phone number, email, something like that right in the um, bulletin right next to um, a presentation like this and you will have a lot greater chance that people will respond. 
Let's look at another one. This one, again, very, very well done. And I really like the approach. It's, it's very, I would say, seeker friendly in that it doesn't just, you know, hit people over the head with, you know, are you lost and, you know, on your way to perdition or whatever. But I like this. Did you know God loves you and created you to know him? But there is a problem. Man is sinful. There is a solution. Uh, sin affects us so much we won't seek God on our own. Therefore, God takes the initiative and draws us to his son, Jesus Christ, who is the only way to the Father. Yet it's not enough to simply affirm these truths. We must each receive Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord. You were invited to begin your relationship with Jesus Christ today. And once again, I, I just love how complete this is, the approach. Uh, they invite people to uh, please speak to a pastor, visit our guest reception center if you've made that kind of decision. Once again, I think an email right there would be um, very helpful. But, but this is great. And you see there's lots, again, going on in this church. But this church took the time to put in and the most important thing. Next, uh, this is a very interesting group that does chapel services for um, actually people that are out um, in the um, automobile racing community. And this is a, a very, uh, a very detailed uh, presentation. And, and I think it's great because they will just get folks from all over, they may not ever contact them again, but this is a great um, presentation. You know, what is God's plan? He does have a plan for us, but people are separated from God. Man tries to get back to God. God's provision and way for us is, of course, through Jesus. John 3.16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that anyone who believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. And he hears a sincere heart. Um, and just encouraging people that, you know, to all who received him, to them he gave the right to become the children of God. When we confess our pride and selfishness, repent of our sin, and trust him to save us, we are his forever. Wonderful gospel tract presentation that they trust people will take with them, think about it, and make a response. And then the last one, the most important thing you can discover is that God loves you and offers eternal life. What do you think God requires for a person to have eternal life? You can know God loves you because of the cross. And it goes into then very similar to the other ones that um, Jesus died on the cross. You must believe that he is Lord, that he rose from the dead, and you must receive Christ as your Savior. And then I love it because they do have here a phone number at the church that you can call and let people know if you have made that decision. Again, just a wonderful, very, I, I think, very appealing, pleasing example of explaining what it means to be a Christian. This next page, these are some things that people have sent me in the past. And this page, it isn't the greatest resolution because it's older scans. But again, it, I won't take time to go through all of it. But it shows you just short, uh, to-the-point things that you can put into publications explaining what does it it mean to uh, to become a Christian, to know that you have a relationship with God. And then I have one more thing on in the booklet, and you can go on the website for this, but there, it, I would really encourage you nowadays to not only put a presentation in your church bulletin, but also use your bulletin to link to other resources on your website. Um, again, let's zoom in, and there are wonderful, wonderful websites on what is God's plan of salvation. Who is Jesus really? The Campus Crusade for Christ site just explains very well all kinds of things about the Christian faith. Then these are more basic ones. Then in addition to that, there is a list of links that um, go into much more detail if people have a lot of in-depth questions, either equip.org or Lee Strobel's site. They go into all kinds of um, very deep things on how do we know the Bible is the word of God, and what about other religions and just lots and lots of things. I would encourage you to put sites like this in your church bulletin, maybe feature one a week. Encourage people to go to them on your website. Have direct links 
honor people's desire to explore and ask questions about the Christian faith. And then down at the bottom are two articles that I wrote um, explaining what it means to become a Christian. One uses the analogy of closing on a house. Uh, this is actually something that was used quite a bit in the past where they wouldn't ask people if they'd gotten saved or whatever. They'd say, have you closed with Jesus? And I, I, re I really like that um, because it's a whole idea that uh, just like with the house, you can look around, you can know what it looks like, you can think it's just great, but until you close, until you put your money down, until you make a commitment, it isn't yours. And Christianity is exactly the same. You can walk all around it, you can go inside the church, you can think it's absolutely wonderful, but until you make a commitment... Jesus isn't yours. Eternal life is not yours. So that might help you a little bit. And then also something explaining just what does the term gospel mean? Those two articles, the link is there. It's out there also on the website, and those are free for anyone to use. I trust this brief overview will have given you some ideas on how you can put in the most important thing into your church bulletin. I realize that all of your churches have different traditions, different ways of wording things. Take all of this, apply it, make it applicable to your church and your community. But don't forget to put in what's most important, and that is how to have a relationship with Jesus. There are lots more resources on the website, EffectiveChurchCom.com, not only for bulletins, but for anything else that you might want to learn about in how to create more effective church communications. And may the Lord greatly bless you as you serve Him today in your communications work.